Hello and how are you all on this fine winter's festive day? Bet they don't all answer. I hope to God you don't answer because that's me actually asking you the question. But I bet you don't. You should, but I bet you don't. We are heading to the farm where this cow stole my hat. Yeah, I don't think she'll steal it again today, but we're just going to plow on today, get these 20 or so cows done that we'll probably have. How do you know there's 20? Because it's usually between 15 and 20. So it's usually less than 20, because if it's between 15 and... It's usually less than 20, but sometimes there is 20. I mean, I've went there and there's been 24. So we'll get these done and I'll be for the day. See you at the farm. And that's us all set up. So this is our second farm of today. And as I've just found out, we actually have 25 cows to do, not 20. So let's crack on. What I love about this farm is the fact that they have four robots running simultaneously every day, milking the cows about four to six times a day. Depends how many times the cows want to get milked, really. Hello. And not only that, their beds are awesome. These are actually water beds. Look, you can see the water jiggling. You don't get much comfier beds than that for cows. I mean, I could actually, if there wasn't sawdust on it, I could actually lie on this and go to sleep. They're pretty awesome. You guys definitely enjoy your beds, don't you? Well, the problem is, right now I'm sitting on them. The cow's feet at this farm are pretty awesome. There isn't much we can actually trim off a lot of these cows because this shed is pretty new, which means the concrete is also very new. And the concrete, when it's new, is extremely abrasive on the cow's feet, which ends up making some of the cow's feet actually very, very thin. So with a lot of these feet, you can only actually skim off a little bit just to level off to check for like bruising or any possible sole ulcers or even to prevent sole ulcers in the future. But as you can see with the front feet I'm trimming on these cows, they are pretty perfect. There's not much I need to do. But I can't say the same for Graham, because I think he may have a few issues, but nothing that serious. So that may explain to you guys why I love coming to this farm, because they really do take care of their cows. I love the dance 
just sit with me talking to the night until the morning building cat mystery i don't think i ever want to go come closer next to me trying to find another way to say this but i think i think we were meant to be Proper Jersey Jersey here today, none of them half breeds. Cute as in, cute as a button. This is just darn cute. Oh, 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 cause something's wrong 
They also have these motorised robots which go around and tidy up pretty much everywhere. And I think they also move the feed into the sides, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on that. But they go around and clean up as much of the cow poo as they can. And then they'll hose down. I have tried, oh I have tried, yeah, to become better. But I'll die again if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am. That's why you have to know, yeah. There's not a part of me. Well, as you can see, guys, the cow did not steal my hat again, mostly because I wasn't wearing a hat today. To be fair, she didn't steal it, she just borrowed it. She covered it in cow's poop. She gave you a back, bro. I can't get the stains out of it. She gave you it back. She borrowed it. I took it back. Hey guys, if you like this channel, remember to hit that little subscribe button down in the corner there and give this video a big one of these. You remembered. I did remember. Again, I remember. I just remember the last thing. I was literally about to say, well, I did say bye. But <laughs> I don't know, hang on. Bye. Anyway.